OnePlus have been continuously working on the software development for their devices. They have already released Android Q developer preview for their OnePlus devices like OnePlus 6, 60 and OnePlus 7 Pro series. In this video, we will be taking a look at the Android Q developer preview on my OnePlus 7 Pro. So this is my OnePlus 7 Pro which is running Android Q developer preview and in this video I will be showing you what all bugs are available and whether it can be used as daily driver or not. So going to about section, under Android version you can see Android version is 10 which is Android Q and the security patch is 5th May 2019. As it's in developing phase it have lots of bugs available and lots of people had issues installing it via local upgrade. Even I tried local upgrade method but there was always a message of installation failed. So I installed it on my OnePlus 7 using TWRP recovery. If you guys want a video on that do let me know in the comment section below so that I'll make a dedicated video on installing Android Q developer preview on OnePlus 7 Pro. So this is going to be the first look of your Android Q if you have already installed it or if you want to install this will be your quick setting panel where you have the brightness slider at the top your recent panel where you get clear all option at the left you won't notice major changes related to UI it's pretty much similar to Android Pie after you install Android Q the launcher version on this will be 3.3.2 this is your volume panel if you tap this you'll get options like see more you can tap on this, this will directly take you to the sound settings. If you long press any notification, you get these options like you can select alert me, show silently and if you want you can turn off the notification completely. Calling works fine but proximity sensor is not working here. This is the only reason I am not using Android Q developer preview as my daily driver. Alert slider is working fine, no issues at all with alert slider. Camera seems to be a little bit slow but you can click pictures and record videos but portrait mode and nightscape mode are not working. Warp charging works fine but battery percentage does not go above 90 or 91%. In the first charging cycle max battery percentage went up to 90% in the second one it went up to 91%. So this is again a bug on Android Q developer preview. I haven't noticed any kind of app crash only one app does not open which is speed test. rest all the apps can be easily opened and no issues at all. Media playback have no issues at all. Now let's go inside the settings. Here under Wi-Fi and network both the bands are working fine like 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz. So Wi-Fi connectivity there are no issues at all. And then I'm using my Geo SIM card which supports Volti and that also works here. Bluetooth seems to be working fine here then we have apps and notifications where you'll get to see three recent opened applications. Then you can control the notifications from here. Then we have battery option under which we have battery saver, adaptive battery and battery percentage option. Moving on to the display. So here adaptive brightness is not working. Then we have themes under which we have dark and light and dark theme works fine. Under colors we have options like boosted, saturated and adaptive. No ambient display options and 90Hz refresh rate options are available which is a main feature of OnePlus 7 and that's missing on Android Q developer preview. We also don't have Zen mode available. After that we have sounds and under this also Dolby Atmos is not available. So we have only basic sound settings. Later we have storage, privacy in which we also have privacy manager. Under security fingerprint scanner is working fine but little bit slow here. Under buttons and gestures we don't have option of changing navigation bar. So if you want to use Android Q then you have only one option to use the navigation buttons. After that we have few more gestures like jump to camera and prevent ringing. And if you take a look at the OnePlus forum they have mentioned few more bugs like recovery mode doesn't work, you cannot send SMS when Volt is on and also media transfer don't work. So to roll back either you have to use the unbrick tool or you can download the rollback package directly inside your phone and do a local upgrade. So all the links will be given in the description below if you want to try then you can give it a try. And also if you want me to make a video on installing Android Q on OnePlus 7 Pro then do let me know in the comment section below. Talking about the performance part I have been playing PUBG on this device after installing Android Q developer preview and I have not faced any kind of issues. Now let me show you the benchmark results using Geekbench application and N22 bench application. 
With Geekbench application, single core have scored 3406, wherein multi core have scored 10287. With Antutu Benchmark application, device have scored 338720. So guys, this was a quick look and few bugs available on Android Q developer preview. If you still have any kind of questions, you can let me know in the comment section below. As of now, only this much in this video. Hope you like the video and if you like the video, then do give me a thumbs up. Also, if you are new to my channel, then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.